Armistice Day, we're told, is the one day of the year when thoughts are with the fallen and all those we hold dear. We're told it's such a special day when people come together to remember those that gave their lives for peace for our tomorrow. The victory came at such a cost, so many fell and died. So we place a poppy on our chest and we wear it with great pride. Because it was in Flanders Field where bright red poppies grew. So many heroes fought and died, some names we never knew. We sing our hymns and fly our flags, lay wreaths and crosses too. And comrades march and shed a tear as they remember ones they knew. We march with boots all shining, each step the drum beats load. We stand up tall with heads held high to show that we are proud. And when the march is over, before we all depart, we raise a glass or two to show they're in our hearts. But when Armistice Day is over and daylight turns to night, our boots, our flags, our poppies sadly fade from sight. They're neatly wrapped and boxed away. We slowly close the door. And there they will remain until Armistice comes once more. But for so many families who've lost someone so dear, remembrance is every day, not just one day each year. You see, when I was just a little girl, my daddy went to sea. He'd sail the deepest oceans, but always sail back home to me. My daddy used to hug me tight and tell me not to worry. I'll be home before you know it, Beth, but I tell him still to hurry. My daddy was a good man, so loving and so kind, and a more wonderful dad I could ever, ever find. Although I really missed him, I knew he had to go. He had a most important job. He wanted peace, not war. I still get so excited when Mummy used to say, Daddy's both his home soon, Beth, and I pray he'd be home to stay. But one day, my Mummy held me tightly in her arms, and when I looked up to her, there were tears in her eyes. She kissed me on my forehead, and as she spoke, she cried. My beautiful Daddy had bravely gave his life. My Daddy wouldn't be coming home. My heart was filled with sorrow. There would be no more Daddy hugs. And for my daddy, no tomorrow. He'd bravely done his duty, and so many forces do, willingly laying down their lives for peace for me and you. So when you pin that poppy so proudly on your chest, please think of our armed forces and how much you are blessed to be with loving family, to live safely in your home, to be free to choose to speak, to live in peace and free from harm. And remember all our forces, wherever they may be. And thank them for their service. They are the reason we are free. I hope, to all that hear this, that it's clear to see just what my topic and remembrance really mean to me. The 11th day, the 11th hour of a wintry November is just one special moment that every day we should remember. And to my angel daddy, watching from up above, Watch over me and guide me and sprinkle me with love. My todays and my tomorrows and my whole life through, I will always love you, my daddy, and forever remember you. In memory of my angel daddy, Lieutenant Commander Ian Thomas Molyneux, GMRN, who died on 8th of April 2011 on HMS Duke, and for all our armed forces, past and present, we will remember them. My name is Bethany Molyneux and I am 10 years old.